So Ava, something has changed when you now have tens of millions of people going around like, must follow the science, zombie, must follow the science. That's actually quite a big change in how we think about these things. Yeah, well, what has changed is that people have rejected God. So the only way, if you, if you think that you are God, if you think that you can play God, you're going to dance with the devil. And that's what these people are doing. So this comes back to the most essential question in life. You know, this is about the essence of life. Is life something mm. that is created by God? that is given to us by God, are we created in his image? Is that an absolute moral outline? You know, the sanctity of life that we do not mess with. You know, we do not mess with the creation or are we all, you know, are we all our own little God and can we do whatever we want in the name of a greater good that we get to determine? That is the fundamental question here. I think it's, you know, the argument of the slippery slope is correct mm. in this case. Mm. You know, if you start to mess with the essence, which is in this case, the sanctity of life, and you say, no, it's all relative, you know, we can do with it whatever we want, then you're, you really don't have a real moral argument against this type of stuff. Because people will always say, they will come up with a nice pretext again. Yeah. You know, they'll say, yeah, well, if we conduct these experiments, you know, that little clump of cells doesn't feel anything, but what if you get terribly sick and we can find the cure this way? What if your daughter gets terribly sick and we can find the cure this way? And if there is no real in-depth ethical debate about this, then it's just going to happen. And that is, you know, what, what happens here. You can already see, for example, in the law that already exists, the Embryo Act that stems from 2002, they talk about the worthiness of the embryo for protection. So they call it like protectability, yeah. the, the value of protectability that it has. And they say that an embryo is worth protecting if it has the ability to grow into a human being. Well, what do you think happens when you start to mix human DNA with animal DNA? Do you think that that has the ability to grow out into a human being? No, of course not. Mm. So therefore it has no protectability. You know, it's demonic. It really is utterly demonic. And I think that if you don't respect the sanctity of life, you know, as an absolute, absolute thing, not relative, but an absolute thing, then the door is wide open to this type of satanic stuff. And it's going to become law.